Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth here today, and so it's Monster Legends Week, where we have a bunch of new monster movesets, so let's go and get right into it. Alright, so the first week we have is Heister Keister's design, and that is going to look like this. He looks kind of weird, but I don't think it's really a bad design, he just looks really weird. So yeah, go and try to get him out of his event, I guess. And then we have a Woots Evolving Terrier, he's going to have Immune to Torture, Immune to Possessed, and Area True Vision, which is kind of meh. Not super good. And then... We we have the first of many movesets. I'm going to go over these kind of quickly because we do have a lot. But yeah, the first one is going to be for Woot. He is a nature and dark support with nightmares, blind, and shields. So his best moves are stamina regeneration and shield protection. That move is okay. He also has a total blind to one enemy with PR. PR is amazing, so that move is really good. He also has a 50% life shield with shield protection, which is okay. He has an AoE true vision with a life shield. Yeah, over Overall, he seems okay. Not like super good though. None of his moves are really too amazing. I mean, PR is great and all, but yeah, just none of his moves are super good. And then we have Z Sparks, which is going to be a light and thunder control with stun, total blind, and daze. He's going to have an AoE daze and stun all enemies, which is okay. He's a single target mega stun. He's got an AoE shock. He's got an AoE blind and an AoE precision. Yeah, overall, he's much better than this one, but he's still not super good. This move is actually really good, the daze and stun. Done. But yeah, the rest are just kind of mediocre. We also have Woot's description right here, and then we have two evolving traits, one for Pow Flow, which we are going to look at his moveset next. And he's going to have Orc, Immune Blind, and Random Elemental Weakness, which is okay. Then we also have one for Z Sparks, which is going to have Immune Shock, Immune Freeze, and Self Torture Immunity, which is pretty good. So yeah, Z Sparks will be pretty good. Definitely try to get him. And then we have Pow Flow, which is going to be Nature and Dark Support with Toxins, Poison, and Elemental Weaknesses. So he has a 50% chance to kill herself which is interesting and that also applies triple damage innovation to one ally which is pretty good but yeah i don't know about that one and then she also has to remove positive effects from one enemy and apply two random weaknesses which is pretty good and nightmares she also has toxins and two random weaknesses to all enemies which is pretty good she also has toxins and poison she's got a damage boost and evasion all allies with a 25 percent chance to kill herself so yeah this monster is pretty interesting i like it these killing herself moves are actually really good but they also have a chance to kill yourself which i don't know how that's gonna work and this move's pretty decent as well with the two random weaknesses but it is random so you could get something that won't help you at all but yeah it seems pretty good and then we have z sparks description if you want to go and read that and then we have another moveset for oh woo woo this one be an earth and magic support with curse and immunity skills so she's got a remove positive effects from one enemy deals moderate earth damage to all enemies and applies curse to all enemies which is pretty good Good. that's actually a really good move scott removes all tortures from all allies and applies torture immunity to all allies which is pretty decent and just as the same thing for controls she scott removes all controls and all tortures from one ally and stun immunity freeze immunity possess immunity so yeah she seems okay just a lot of immunities not like super good but yeah pretty decent and then we have some more traits we got oh woo woo which is going to have immune stun immune possess an area nightmares immunity which are not very good immunities honestly and then we have max shroom which we're going to look at next almost the one after the next one we look at which is going to be immune to blind immune to fear and self life regen which is okay none of these traits are really too good and then we have some descriptions if you want to go ahead and read those and then we have a tenno kihaku which is going to be the mythic version of the legendary kihaku and he's going to be a water and light controller with possession freeze and stamina regen so i'm actually looking forward to this monster a lot so i sure hope he is good so he's going to have an aoe possess and freeze and drown which is pretty good yeah so i see we move positive status effects from all enemies and it also deals a moderate water damage to all enemies and it applies stamina leak to all enemies which is pretty good move yeah so i say all torture effects from its self removal and it also applies life regen and stamina regen to all allies and just possess and freeze to one enemy and applies stamina leak to one enemy yeah he actually seems pretty good i like these moves quite a bit and yeah i cannot wait to get them then we have a max shroom right here which is going to be nature and magic attacker with toxins poison and hellfire so he has a hellfire to all enemies applies life regen to itself he also has a toxins and daze to all enemies which is okay can block out 50 percent incoming damage with 30 percent life shield to all allies he also has life regen to all allies in that move he seems pretty good actually probably better than most of these monsters up here so yeah definitely make sure to get max shroom 
stream. He actually seems pretty good. And then we have Tenno Kihaku's traits. We got Harden, Immunus, Sudden Death, and Area Stammer Regen, which is not that good. And then we have a Melee Nod's moveset, which is going to be a Thunder and Metal Attacker with Shock, Skill Mirror, and Daze. So this monster is going to have Daze and Vulnerable to one enemy, which is really good. Also applies Stamina Regen and Damage Boost to itself, which is pretty cool. And that also removes Tortures. It also has Skill Mirror with Shock, which is really good. And on all these moves, he has like massive damage as well as heavy damage. So yeah, this is going to be a very high damage attacker, especially with that vulnerable and damage boost. It also has a shock to all enemies and that does moderate damage to one enemy and low damage to all enemies, which is interesting. It also has skill mirror and minor damage boost with heavy metal damage. And you can also remove all tortures, which is really good. So yeah, overall, this monster will be able to do a lot of damage. And his traits are going to be tough, true vision, and minor damage boost, which is really interesting. Interesting. And then we have Melee Knot's description right here, and we got two new uh, virtues, Cold Blood and Area Dodge, which are both really good. So yeah, cannot wait to see what monster has those. And then we also have the Season 6 Abyssal Era checklist if you want to see where any of those monsters are going to be from. We almost have all of their movesets now. We might actually have all their movesets. Yeah, they're all pretty decent i guess a lot of them were just kind of meh though and then we have a new effect called infinite stamina which is really interesting and yeah basically it'll just make you have infinite stamina for a certain amount of turns so yeah pretty good and then we have an upcoming monster Severoth the timeless shadow that is probably going to be the ancestor monster and then we have a new era the fractured era which is really interesting and the new rank up resource is going to be astronaut ex so yeah i cannot wait for all this this is all about the brand new era and the new ancestor monster will probably be coming in the brand new era and his name sounds awesome so i cannot wait to see what kind of monster he is and then last but not least we have some upcoming monsters down here as well we got all of the football monsters so we got Chris Cristiano, Messi, and all the other ones that I don't know how to pronounce. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Cannot wait to see all those. Cannot wait to see all this stuff in the brand new era and all these brand new mythics. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.